rose from the grave, a shroud to hide my eyes away. You didn't give me thorns for my head, you pierced your side for me instead. You didn't give me clothes from the grave, a shroud to hide my eyes away. You didn't give me thorns for my head, you pierced your side for me instead.
prophetically is that without a vision it says that people perish it says that in the word that without seeing without having a vision over your life without having a vision over what God is doing currently in your heart or in a situation that seeing is life to be able to see how he sees is to be able to move towards his heart and that is where the abundant living is and I'm just seeing this picture that just like if you're on a trip when we're in motion, when we're in the car even, we're driving real fast and things are zooming by us. But when we stop, when we go to a rest area, when we go and we pull over and we just wait, and we just look around, we can take in what he's showing. We can take in what he's revealing and our hearts need it. We need it desperately because we have to be able to see 
and it happens in the waiting. It's when we're not in a lot of motion and that can feel a certain way. <laughs> when we're like, oh, I just wanna keep going. Oh, I just wanna keep moving. I wanna know I'm, I'm moving towards something. But what if in the waiting you are? What if in the waiting you are? It's so important today that his heart is heard in this way, that all of life happens in the waiting. All of life happens in the pause. It happens in turning aside to look. This is a spiritual thing that we do and that we can choose to do, and that's just what the invitation is today that we can see all things in the waiting. It's not inactivity, it's choosing to direct my gaze, to look at where his heart is saying, look this way, wait on my face, wait. There's just a powerful experience like Teresa said today that he wants to bring encounters and worship. So we're gonna keep singing in the waiting, we will see. So right now, Holy Spirit, I just thank you for opening eyes, just like what we are singing, that with unveiled eyes, we can see, we can see. I just bless every eye, every heart in this room to be able to see how you see, Papa. That right now there's a transference, there is a divine transference of spiritual vision from the Father into the eyes of your sons and daughters right now. So thank you for opening those eyes to see.
happening over us, Jesus. You and the Father are dancing and spinning wildly over us today. You're so joy-filled. You're so happy. You're the happiest person we know. told of is now unveiled before you. It is the time of unraveling, unveiling, like turning on a light. It is not something you do, but something that you suddenly see. What couldn't be seen before, like suddenly coming to a place you've never been, these moments will become more and more frequent for you. As I make a place for my inhabitation within you, what was woven within you in secret, beyond the landscape of your eye, majesty tapestry is now unveiling. Did you know what I was making? Could you see its beauty? Did you have any idea? See, see, look and see what I made. That is such a delight to me. Ooh, so we just say yes to that. We say, I declare right now the unveiling of the tapestry woven within us that you have been weaving as a master weaver, a tapestry that's now unveiling and it's unraveling to us right before our eyes so we will look and we will see we will look and we will see
places are in. That in worship, as we behold you, we discover the joy, the beauty, that beautiful things are happening inside of us. That you're creating within us. just as your creation, I just want to invite us to just respond even with this word test I just wrote, that as his creation, we're responding back. We're responding back with these eyes that have been opened today to see all the beauty of you, Jesus, and to see that you're creating beautiful things inside, that there's this beautiful coming together today. There's just this, there is, there's just this collision today, spirit to spirit, that can only happen in worship. It can only happen in this place. And so I just want to invite us to just, just keep pressing in. Just keep leaning into this moment. Just keep, yeah, just say it. I just give you a fresh surrender, Jesus. Maybe if you don't even know what that looks like, that's okay. It just says that I'm just going to, in this moment, just partner with this activity of your spirit that is swirling in the room today, that you are so in this creative mood today. You are in a really creative mood. It's like he is this master artist and our eyes have been unveiled to see all of his splendor and his beauty and his lordship and that he has a paintbrush in his hand. He's weaving, he's creating, he's spinning and it's happening inside of us. The kingdom of heaven is within. And so there's just this beautiful force of life that I just see taking shape in our hearts today. And it only happens in worship. It only happens in this place of just saying, oh, there's so much beauty just happening inside. It's a whirlwind of creativity. It's this whirlwind. And so I just, I let go and I just say that I'm letting your wind just come and breathe in me. I'm letting myself get swept up today in this whirlwind of your spirit and in your creative force. I say, I will let you come. I will let you come. Jesus, I let you come. Jesus, I let you come. I let you spin your whirlwind of creation of artistry, of movement inside of me. The kingdom of heaven is inside of me. I am the walking conduit of heaven. I am heaven on earth. Through my hands, animated, moved by the Spirit, when I speak, life takes shape. When I pick up a pen, eternity is changed. When my voice lets out a new song, something happens in the spirit that we can't see with our natural eyes but we know we know that he is still creating because we know we've been awakened to it the reason why we're even in this room right now in this moment is because something has happened inside of me where jesus has taken hold and his creative force has exploded in my life and now all i see is color now all i see is glory now all i can see is majesty and so however you want that to flow today how you want it to flow out in my worship how you want it to flow out through my song how you want it to flow out through my writing all these ways jesus i just say have your way have your way we're just waiting for the next movement of your spirit to just flow to just flow through us
kingdom of heaven, color is exploding, life is happening, yeah. Let's sing it again. So come create with me, the so much more color for you to see. Oh, come create with me, There's so much more color for you. so much more color for you to see oh come create with me there's so much more color for you to see
So we just say today that we are stepping into the glorious experience of your love, to the deeper experiences of your love, into an experience. So I just release that today, just the experience of your love. Whoo! That it has, there's so much more to it. <laughs> there's so much more to it. So we just receive it. We receive it. Ooh, we just stand under the waterfall. We stand under the downpour. We stand under just this unending flow of the waterfalls of your love, Jesus. There's more than one. <laughs> There's more than one. <laughs> There's so many. There's so many. There's so many aspects of your love, Jesus. Ooh, so I just say, let it pour and let it redeem, let it wash us. Let us be refreshed today. Just redemption, love, outpouring, Woo. restoring. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. 